We're playing Sparrow 1, motherfuckers. Yes! Made by Insomniac Games. I fucking loved this shit when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I... I've replayed this religiously. I I will 100% complete this, I promise. I hope. How long will it take? Hours and hours and hours! Well, then you won't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you will, but I won't be here. <laughs> no, I'll probably... I don't know, we'll see how far we get. Finish this glass of wine and then have a little nanite. <laughs> Wake me up when you're done. New <laughs> game! It's been so long since I've played this. Yeah. See, this and Croc. Yeah, I loved Croc and I loved Rayman. They yeah. were like my three go-to. Those are the three. When we finally got yeah. a PlayStation 1. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were late to the well, yeah. PlayStation party. Yeah, when everyone else had a PlayStation 2, we were getting our PlayStation 1. You were console generation behind every time. Yeah. So... Oh God, it's so weird. Storyline. Dragons. They live in the world. There's a big motherfucking asshole called Ganasty Ganork. <laughs> Ganasty Ganork. <laughs> the G is not silent. <laughs> I never noticed the microphone oh, being yes. held above him. Oh my god! I never noticed that. Never before. noticed. He's an interview. No. It's supposed to be funny. I was just looking at the so, dragons all the time. That green guy was Ganasty Ganork. The G is not silent. Uh, and he's hearing these dragons talk and smack about him. So he's all like, you know what? I'm going to use this power I've always had to turn into stone. Heard you were talking shit. <laughs> heard you were talking shit. Just don't turn into stone. And for some reason, he missed the smallest dragon. Who turns out to be the only one who can breathe fire in this world, apparently. <laughs> Whee! At least he's an actual dragon, unlike the dragons in Game of Thrones, which are... They're wyvern. They are indeed. What's the difference again? Clory bat hands! <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's a visual aid. <laughs> Clory bat hands, she says, wiggling her fingers. Clory bat hands! Clory bat hands instead of arms. Does not know what the difference between wipers and dragons are? <laughs> Do I have to give you a visual aid? Now you'll remember! <laughs> <laughs> Committed to your long term memory, Nathan. So, what is the difference, sorry? Glory bat hands. Is that it? Is yeah. So, dragons have like back legs and front legs, like so uh, four yep. legs. Wyverns have just back legs and then like bat arms in, that go into their wings rather than having just wings on their back. God, I'm a mess. Hold on, I need to get better. Okay. I've not played this in so long. <laughs> it has been a while. Don't you have to collect those? Uh, you have to get all yeah. the gems, you have to rescue all the dragons. I like how none of the dragons really come up, like all these big fuck off dragons are like, you got this. We'll leave you, you can do <laughs> we it. We won't help. Yeah. You can do it yourself. I mean, can they breathe in there? Surely they should go, <gasps> Oh god! <laughs> it's when they come been out. Hours. I just feel like he's just going to be like, "All right, Sparrow, off you go, off you pop, off you pop. <laughs> I'll wait here and do nothing." See, some of these dragons must have been encased for. Where seconds. the fuck did he go? What's he doing? <laughs> Who's the little me. dragonfly you get there? Sparks, that's his name. Sparks. He uh, he doesn't talk in this one, but eventually he does talk. And do you know who? He voices does collect him? the gems for who you. Who voices him? David Spade. Oh Wait, no. Wait, I thought David Spade voiced um, Oh Spyro. yeah! Oh no! David Spade was Sparks and Elijah Wood was Spyro. Oh, yeah. oh god. Oh, what happened there? Oh god, I can't believe this is happening. What, did you forget? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll all come back to you Fucking now. Fucking David Spade. <laughs> it's all coming back to Elijah me Wood now. and David Spade. Fuck. Alright, so let's get into an actual level. Uh, you know, I'm going to fuck this guy up first. Our What's cats are going it? crazy. They always do this at this time of day. Or this time of night. <laughs> it's half I'll tell you what, if Crowley did this shit when I was trying to sleep, <laughs> she'd be a fucking hat by now. That's <laughs> 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 she'd be a hat. <laughs> oh, it just reminds me of the uh, Be Our Guest spoof from The Simpsons. Yeah. See my vest. See, See my, my vest. vest. See my vest. I nearly fucking turned Crowley into a fucking hat today. Why? On the way here, me and Nathan <laughs> Nathan came round to pick my PlayStation up. And then I was like, I'm just going to nip to the shop and get some wine. Get a drinky drink. Obviously. Drinky drinky need my drinky poos. <laughs> need my slip slips. Need my blam blit. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what those words are. Everybody has shit like this. <laughs> my dad calls his... Dressing gown of fluff fluff. <laughs> Where's my fluff fluff? How is your dad equally the most dangerous and softest he man on the planet? He definitely is not the most dangerous man on the planet. He's been in jail, right? That means literally nothing. Oh. That just means he was stupid enough to get caught. Oh. 
<laughs> right. Being in prison doesn't mean that you're hard. It means that you you yeah, broke but he, the he law. He was in prison for like GBH. <laughs> Should we be talking about this? <laughs> Yeah, it was like 20 years ago. Oh, okay. yeah, really mad. Because I'm, I'm not taking any of this out. <laughs> I'm rescuing dragons. I can't take that out. Alban. My dad's not scary. He probably was in his youth. He was a bit of a... Th- not a thug, but he was a bit rough. I'm starting to see what you're getting. So he calls... He you're calls, half and half. He calls, his, he calls his dressing gown a fluff fluff. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he used to, he's quit drinking now. He doesn't drink at all. But he used to call. He used to have a, like a glass of whiskey or a beer or something, like whilst he was watching telly in the evening. Yeah. And he used to be like, Deb, Deb, go get my wick, wick, my wicky wig. <laughs> go get my wicky wig. I'm so confused. Can you pass me my fluff fluff and get me a wicky wig? Ah shit! You, you can't you can't kill those guys from the front. Everybody and yours is a like you. blamblet. Blamble, but there is a bit of a story behind that. It means blanket, right? It does mean blanket. Yeah. It was when Eve was like learning words. Your daughter. We were all, yeah, my kid. <laughs> we were all sitting on the sofa, and Just she, she was only me. like, oh, she must have only been about two, and she was sitting there going, "Mummy, you know, I'm blamble, blamble." I was like, "What, As all what, two is, year what is wrong with you?" And she was like, "Get off my blamble." I was like, "What? What are you saying?" She went, "Blamble." I was like, "What's a blamble?" <laughs> And she sort of nudged my bum a bit, and then I realised I was sitting on a blanket, and I was like, "Blam it!" <laughs> <laughs> then you just shout and blam it. Blam it. So we call it blam. Although it's sort of rubbing off on your kid now, isn't it? Right. My blam it and my tabalo. Yeah, <laughs> tabalo. Can we play on the tabalo? I thought it sounds American when she talks because of all the stuff she watches. Does she? Well, I don't think she sounds American. Sometimes. Sometimes. She'll... Only only the odd word. The voice comes out in American Eve, It started, especially it's because it's only words. Hard. Only words that we don't usually say. Yeah, yeah, yeah that the, she's only like, heard. Like tomatoes. We don't, neither of us really like tomatoes. She's we like, don't have tomatoes. them in the house. So she says tomatoes. Because the good. only time she ever hears <laughs> the word tomatoes is, say, is uh, in videos. Just start beating that shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> People watching this say tomatoes. It's, <laughs> it's only Maybe. words that she doesn't hear in everyday life. So if she hears yeah. them in a video and she hasn't heard us say it before. And there's a lot of American kids She'll think YouTubers. that's the way to say it. Yeah, the, some of the YouTubers, when they're doing like little things and stuff, I notice when Eve's copying. So not in day to day, but when she's like playing and she's make yeah. believing YouTube things she'll be like oh it's so cute and put like a little and I'm like no no, no. <laughs> stop that no, no it's not cute it's You're not wrong. cute it's cute it's not cute it's cute <laughs> what if she starts saying it's kawaii like she keeps because of like I don't know being in Leicester I guess she keeps going mummy and, like, mummy. <laughs> mummy. and I'll go excuse me and she goes mummy I'm like mm-hmm. <laughs> you, know? eh. you know how I feel about that shit it's e mummy I mean I say it Sometimes, because yeah, I've but lived you're not in as bad as most. Yeah, but neither of you are really. No, but was, no. You're always saying how my family's normal. <laughs> so. Your family's normal. way too normal. Weirdly normal. <laughs> you don't insult each other, like literally never. <laughs> no, well, even if we find out something bad about them, we don't even. We're, we're sort of. It's like, sort of hushed. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so su- I'm pretty severely dyslexic, and as is my little <laughs> sister, right? And I wrote Somerset as two separate words. I put summer and set. Which right. is a standard dyslexic. Yeah, because instead. they're two words. Yeah, because they're two words, but it comes as one, and it's Classic quite, it's quite normal. Move. Yeah, it's just a normal thing that dyslexic people do quite regularly. My little sister, yeah. who is also dyslexic, messaged me like, "Are you a fucking retard or something?" It's one word. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, yes, I am a retard." <laughs> Thanks. An ignorant person is somebody who's just learnt the thing that you've not learnt yet. So that's all it is. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't worry about it. It doesn't fucking keep me up at night. Don't worry about it. <laughs> They've just told you the thing they've only just found out. That's what it is. Yeah, I don't give a shit. (laughs) Ed Ed turned around to me at work today and said, you've spoke cheddar wrong. And I went, dyslexic. (laughs) Just walked off. I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) Shame me all you want. I don't give a shit. (laughs) Yeah, so that should be the last... Oh, no, no, I've not got all the gems yet. There's some over here. There's a hundred. I don't know how I spoke cheddar wrong. How the fuck do you spell cheddar wrong? One D? No, I'm pretty sure I put two Ds. Did you put ER instead of AR at the end? Yeah. Cheddar. 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 Also, cheese is gross, so. Whoa! (laughs) Controversial opinion over here. It's not gross, I'm just eating a pizza. I can eat cheese. Mate, you know the rules. (laughs) I can have cheese if it's melted. Not just or if that, it's fake but cheese. the cheese that's on a pizza is mozzarella, and mozzarella tastes like nothing. 
That is not true. At it all. doesn't taste no, like that much. I tried a bit of mozzarella earlier at work when the, we had. I had like a little bit. Could, mozzarella could tastes like, like really mild cheese. That's Re- why you like really, it. Really, really mild though. Mozzarella tastes like mozzarella. It doesn't even taste there anything. <laughs> it tastes like a really, really mild cheddar. That's like when people tell me, oh, water doesn't taste of anything. Yeah, it tastes like water. It does, it tastes like water. Oh, well, yeah. That's what water tastes like. Water I mean, it tastes it like... Hasn't, it hasn't got that, like, very strong of a taste. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's okay. how Mick about strong, sweet corn. Still well, it's actually, this, this fucking annoys me because Mick's like, I don't like sweet corn, it don't taste of anything. Well, if it don't taste of anything, fucking eat it. You're not even going to notice you're eating it. If it don't taste like mm-hmm. anything, so shut the fuck but up. But the thing is, it does yeah. taste like something. It's just not that strong of a taste. It's still a unique taste. I don't taste. like the taste of sweet no, corn. No, I hate it. Well, you're all assholes. <laughs> <laughs> sweet corn's delicious. You can all go fuck yourself. Do you have those Facebook groups where it's like, we're, we're pro sweet corn, sweet corn memes? Sweet corn. I, yeah. I don't, but I need to be. <laughs> Sweet corn. Have like you, the you, garlic you, bread one. Yeah, have you seen the garlic I've bread I've seen the garlic, yeah, but everyone likes garlic bread. That's true. If anybody doesn't like garlic bread watching this video, we don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> unfollow. Leave now. Yeah, please. Unf- You're not welcome here. Unfriend, unfollow. See how many unsubscribers we get Mick, after this. Mick will say he doesn't really, he will, I don't really want garlic bread. And I'm like, well, I'm going to have garlic bread because I fancy it. And What's I, wrong with I your will, boyfriend? No, no, he likes it. But if we, because I'll have garlic bread with basically anything. It doesn't have to be a bolognese. It no, I do the same. Yeah. It's, it's like when we go to Nando's. And I, I will never, ever order garlic bread because I like the, the chips and coleslaw. What the fuck is wrong with you? Who fucking opts into coleslaw over garlic bread? <laughs> Thank Only- you. <laughs> Why are you with her, Nathan? How have I, not, how have I been friends with you for this long and not known this? I feel betrayed. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? What was that? Our friendship is built on lies. Oh my God, I need to go home. <laughs> If you started the sweet corn <laughs> memes thing, I'd feel the same, I'd feel the same way about you right the now. The only place I like coleslaw from is Nando's. I don't like coleslaw. That is any other place but Nando's. Fucking atrocious, Gina. But I can be, uh, like, I'll fill myself up on chicken, chips, coleslaw, and then I'll see him eating garlic bread and I'll be like, I'm really full, but that looks good. Did you know that? Oh, no. I never shitty order it. fucking I coleslaw. I never order it. <laughs> You know Creamy mash and garlic bread. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Honestly, well, I, I have the chips usually because I have to have gravy with my mash, and they don't do gravy. No, yeah, but, they but do the mash, the, peri-peri. the mash in. Yeah. I do. I like it. Yeah, but I would. I just don't order. The mash in Nando's is like a little bit cheesy. I have yeah, no only a bit that. though. Creamy mash, or sometimes I'll have. They'd, I can't remember whether they do a sweet potato mash. They no, do. they do sweet potato fries. That's what they I like do. Sweet potato mash as well. Yeah, the mash ain't great though. You can't get a kids meal with normal mash. You have to get it with sweet potato. If anybody here has really any, doesn't like anybody sweet watching has any kind of sway at Nando's, can we have money? <laughs> If anybody here has any kind of sway at Nando's, get the fucking chocolate cheesecake back. I'm about to go on a murderous rampage. <laughs> they took away the chocolate cheesecake. But keep the salt and caramel I literally brownie, have not amazing. been. I literally have not been back to Nando's since they took it off the menu. I was like, this is what I come here for. This can, is the ultimate I betrayal. can make this chicken at home. You have literally <laughs> been to Nando's for the cheesecake. I've literally just... Up. You I, walked in and just ordered the cheesecake. Yeah, we went to Wagamama's for dinner, do you remember? We went yeah, to Wagamama's went to for Nando's dinners for and then I was like, we've got to go to Nando's for dinner. <laughs> Nando's You were there, don't you remember? That's like that's like my dream of going to KFC, getting the gravy, and then just going to McDonald's and ordering the chips, <laughs> and then just having that. Yeah, but McDonald's I lived to my dream, Nathan. What's stopping you? Uh, my own laziness. <laughs> Well, you can. I've got good news for you. You yeah. can get KFC delivered to your house now. It's only a matter of time until you can get McDonald's too. You know That's what? True. I bet KFC have delivered in other countries for ages. Yeah, definitely. It's just us. McDonald's deliver in America. I'm pretty sure. McDonald's delivered to Keely and Richard. Mac- well, McDonald's deliver, but it's through Deliveroo, and so we're too far out. Do you know how far far out we are? We're, like, we're literally we're so two, far street, out, man. two streets away from the delivery zone. I'm tempted I, to get it delivered two streets away and just, and just wait, wait the outside their house. <laughs> Actually, like, mine. At work, we tried to find out if KFC would deliver to us, and we found out that they would deliver on campus, but not as far as us. But it's literally like a 10 minute walk, so people have actually considered just walking to the shop that they will deliver to. Yeah, because then you yeah, guys at work get like KFC over Friday or something. Uh, so, not Friday, but sometimes. That's it's bullshit. Like Why don't I get to go out for a fucking KFC? I got a massage at work. Okay. Oh my god. What? They got... had a professional masseuse come in at work. Oh yeah, because you're no so fucking reason. stressed. Mm. <laughs> Literally no reason. She I brought run a kitchen. HR woman <laughs> brought them in just because she could. <laughs> Where's my fucking massage? Do you know what happened on that same day? 
I walked into work and there was a McDonald's breakfast just on my table. The boss had bought it. You know it what? Me. Everybody at my job, yeah. everyone at my job, every single person there, every human, every person that I work with, and the management people. And management team that don't come into the building to work but come in. You've built this They deserve up. a massage and a McDonald's breakfast when they come in and we don't fucking get it. <laughs> well, you could give it. Or if you could like take it in turns and be the one to be the masseuse. I'm not touching other people. To be fair, my boss was saying that he goes to a chiropractor because he's got a bad back and I was moaning about my backache. And little did he know that my backache is due to having big tits and there's nothing I want to do about it. <laughs> He was like, oh, you should go to a chiropractor. Mine's really, really good in this, that, and this. And I was like, that would involve someone I don't know touching me, and I would rather sit on needles. <laughs> so, I'd rather lick a tramp. Yeah, I would literally rather lick a tramp. 